in this Melbourne mansion, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. I'm looking for that right girl. We want to answer the age-old question, is love blind? His job being a naked butler turns me a little bit off. Three single men and three single ladies will meet in complete darkness. In a specially designed dating room, this is what they'll see. Oh my God. What's the table break? <laughs> But this is what we can see using special infrared cameras. Oh, my God! <laughs> After a series of dates with each other, they'll choose the one partner they'd like to see revealed. He was looking for someone like me, so that made me feel really, really good and special. But what will happen when the lights are turned on? He looks completely different to what I thought, and, yeah, no, nah, it doesn't matter to me. Can they find true love on personality alone? Is he good enough for you to shag him, do you reckon? Do looks really matter? Righto, boys, let's see what's under the covers, eh? These people are about to find out by Dating in the Dark. My name's Andrew, I'm 23 years old and I'm a contract administrator. I've had a couple of long relationships, but they've just been tight friendships, really. I'm looking for something a little bit more serious. My standout feature, I've been told my smile, but some people also say that my smile's a little bit freaky because I smile too much. My name's Bree, I'm 24, and I work as an IT consultant. I've been single for two years now. Um, I guess I just haven't met the right girl, and hopefully through this experience I'll get to. Hey. <laughs> Good. I'm normally attracted to sort of really happy and confident girls. Based on my looks, some girls think I'm a bit of a dickhead, but, you know. <laughs> my name is Dean. I'm 27 years old and I work as a personal trainer. Some girls in the past assume that I'm not intelligent or that I'm not single, but I am intelligent and I am single and uh, I'm looking for that right girl. Cheers to the whole package, boys. Fun on the whole package in the dark, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers Cheers to that. the whole package. <laughs> My name is Danielle, I'm 21 and I'm studying at university to become a lawyer. I've been single for the past year and I think I'm still single because I want too much out of men. Um, I'm looking for the perfect guy and with what I want he probably just doesn't exist. Hi, I'm Gemma, I'm 25 years old and I'm a singer. I think I'm a really fun-loving, bubbly person. I love being in the outdoors and I think my standout feature probably would be my lips because everyone seems to think that they're not real. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. I'm Danielle. I'm okay. Gemma. Okay. It's nice meeting you. It's so exciting. I know. I think we made some good looking. Yeah. My name is Kelly, I'm 27 and I'm a travel agent. I would describe myself as energetic, I'm a bit of a crazy character, I love to laugh and my standout feature are my boobs. I've had one serious relationship, I had my heart broken and I haven't really met anyone since. Boys, Cheers. Cheers. Like meeting by some hot boys. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. I'm Laura, your host, and welcome to Dating in the Dark. Now have a good look around because this fabulous place will be your new home for the next few days. Remember, you girls will be kept apart from the guys at all times and the only time you'll meet each other will be in the dark room where we're hoping you'll find love. To kick things off, we're going to send you on a group date so you get the chance to start to get to know the guys. Good luck. Hey. Thank you. room was crazy it was like completely insane I mean psychologically I know what it was like but in reality it's so dark you can't see anything I can't see anything <laughs> oh, that's right your door open oh my god yeah, that's right yeah, we've been in here for like an hour and we still can't yeah, see anything yeah. good luck it's been five hours walking to the dark room was pretty different you really literally can't see anything 
I don't even know where I'm going. Okay. I found it. Okay. I found the chair. So who's, who's, who's on the Hello. left? Um, my, oh, left, my left, my left. I'm Danielle. 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 Gemma. So we've got Danielle and Gemma and... And Kelly. And Kelly. Hi, Kelly. 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 how are you? Now, yeah, our left? Uh, that's me. So yeah. I'm Dean. I'm a personal trainer. I'm the token personal trainer, I think. Hi, Dean. Hi, Dean. Hi. Hi. I'm Bree. Uh, I am an IT consultant. I've actually done a personal training course, but I don't work on... Competition? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did my course maybe two years ago, but I, I don't I don't work in the industry, so I just do it just for personal benefit. I guess I'm not sort of probably the the standard nerdy IT consultant, but anyway. That's so. okay. You're smart. No, that's so <laughs> well, actually, I'm not that smart either. So, <laughs> Andrew, go do. Rightio. Well, I'm Andrew, and I'm a contract administrator, so which is a construction management job. So I'm uh, also. Uh, part-time sort of promo stuff as well, and I actually work as a topless event host. Oh, so, very nice. Yeah. So you, you girls, do you guys want to start at one yeah. end? Yeah. In the middle, start in the middle. Go, Gemma, go, oh, Gemma. Right, well, I am a singer. I teach singing, and I sing during the nights and do a lot of shows. Uh, Danielle, how about you? Me. Um, I am a student. I'm studying law, so lots of reading and stuff like that um and when i'm not studying i'm a bartender slash waitress i'm a travel agent so um yeah that's what i do during the week and i'm just a social butterfly i suppose i love going out on the weekend well it's <laughs> lovely to meet yeah, you it was so nice meeting yeah, you yeah same here it was great right see you girls bye Wait, 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 the first guy. What's his name? Dean. 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 If he's a personal oh, trainer, Dean. he'd have a hot body. Who's the one in the middle? Brie. Brie. Brie and Andrew. Oh, Brie and Andrew. I like Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, yeah me too. Well, that's what I was thinking too. Oh, Shit. Oh, Dean. Me, yeah, I know. Oh, it doesn't matter if we like all. <laughs> Look at us all. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Laura. How'd the group date go? It's pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Any instant chemistry with one of the girls in particular? Well, it's a bit early to say, we reckon, but uh, I think um, possibly Gemma, for me, might have had a connection with her. And how about you, Bree? Uh, I like Danielle. OK. Yeah, definitely. And Andrew? Yeah, it's very early, but I think uh, I had a connection with Kelly. So far, none of you have any idea what the guys look like. But get ready, because that's about to change. In fact, once you see what's under here, you may find that one guy leaves much more of a mark on you than another. Have fun. Thanks. Coming up, sexual. sexual. What will be revealed that changes how the girls feel about their choices? His muscle looks kind of big-ish. Can I kiss him? Go for it. Oh. After getting to know each other in the group date, it's almost time for invitations to be sent for the first one-on-one -on -one dates. But there's a sneak preview waiting for them that could influence their decision. Righto, boys, let's see what's under the covers, eh? Let's do it. Ooh, OK. OK. All right. Forever in my heart. What do you think she's talking about, though? That's definitely Italian. An animal or an ex-boyfriend that she made yeah. a mistake of a tattoo with? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. yeah, it's cool. Well, let's see what the boys have to offer. Oh, the scar. What type of scar do you reckon it's from? Well, it could be. Maybe from sports. sports. Probably when I reckon it's sports. from sports. His muscle looks kind of big-ish in the face. Yeah, you can, you can see where he, he's got muscles, yeah. definitely, yeah. so he works out. Too hairy. Too yeah, I don't know. I hope his chest isn't that hairy. Oh, let's check this one out. 
Ooh. 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 Oh. <laughs> Sexual. What is that? What is that actually? Oh, maybe I made a good choice. Maybe you did, that's right. <laughs> So when I saw Kelly's tattoo, um, I was really surprised. I didn't expect it based on the group date. Yeah, maybe I'll have to find a bit more about it. Oh. Ah. Ooh. What is that? <laughs> I don't get where that I is. I think that's his oh, armpit and that's his arm. And so there's a big scar. I might be wrong. Well, if that's his chest, that's turned me off. Oh, there you go. Hey, it's on the chest. What does it say? That? Kind of That's generous. Only God can judge me. Judge me. Oh, That's so like the most painful place to get a tattoo on your ribs. So really, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She must, must be a lot to her then. She's, she's tough girl. She's tough, tough girl. girl. Tough girl. Alrighty. Ooh, they're all hairy. They're all got hairy, they're all hairy. Got hairy chests. No. They're all hairy. I'm really intrigued to find out what that's from. Seeing Dean's picture, I'm really quite interested to find out how that happened, how that is on his neck, because it's quite an interesting place for that to happen. Let's start. Now that they have a clearer picture of who might be their perfect partner, invites were sent for the first one-on-one -on -one dates. <laughs> First, Kelly invited Dean. Where's my sexual girl at? Oh, I mean... There you are. There's hello, a, there's a hand. Here. Hello. How are you? Can I get a sexual hug? Yes, you definitely get a sexual hug. Fantastic. It's so embarrassing. Isn't it? How are you? He was very, very touchy-feely and he wasn't nervous. So I thought it was re really nice on a first date. I like your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. But, yeah, I have yeah. Cur big curly hair. Yeah, I can feel it's curly, yeah. As you yeah. can obviously... Yeah, it's about How 20. big are your arms? Oh, hello. There we go. Gun show is They are nice arms. Thank you. Can I kiss them? Go for it. Oh, oh they're uh, cute. <laughs> that's very sexy. You can touch my boobs if you want. <laughs> I'm joking, it's all right. <laughs> I'll give you just a chick in the neck, though. OK. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very I'm nice. not sure Kelly has the body type I'm normally attracted to, but she has such a fantastic personality, and uh, curvy Loftus women can be very attractive as well, so definitely could be a, a person I am physically attracted to. Hello, Judy. Bye. You too, see ya. Andrew was next to join Kelly in the darkroom after he invited her. Can, can we stand up and can I feel you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Does you want to get straight into that pit? Yeah, no. just, I hope it's I don't keep my drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness me. All right, hold well, on, I'm going to pull my dress down. down. Oh, hello. A little bit of, hey. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> What's so your funny. best attribute? What should I? Oh, my boobs! I? Absolutely. Should I feel your boobs? Yeah, they're fake. Yeah. You can feel them. Oh, really? Yeah, I've got breast implants. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a good job. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they're awesome. They're seven years old. That was a bit of a strange one. I wasn't. I didn't see that one coming. That was a curveball. Yeah. Mm. So. Um, should we kiss? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think we should? It's, I think it's definitely a uh, qualifying thing. All oh, right, I, I think, think so it's too. To have a good we'll taste that vodka. Well. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah. Hold on, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> good kisser. Yeah. Yeah. I do really like him, and yeah, I think he likes me. I think we got on really well. All right, see ya. See you, Kelly. Bye. She seems like the kind of girl who would be great to hang out with, especially as a friend, but I don't think we're quite compatible uh, in a couple sort of situation. And for his second date, Andrew was joined by Danielle after she invited him. So how were Kelly's boobs? Oh, did she tell <laughs> you she was going to let us grab her boobs or something? Um, she told me that you just did. Oh, oh no, I'm actually okay. really jealous because I'm like forcing her to show me them later. Okay. Because they're fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they are fake. What, did they feel good? I'm not kidding. Like, I'm they felt actually pretty, jealous they of you. They felt pretty grand, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure she'll give you a grand <clears throat> later. Oh, I'm going to just go for it later if she doesn't. <laughs> Danielle was probably more intrigued about feeling Kelly's boobs than me, <laughs> which is interesting. Are you feeling as um, adventurous as Kelly? <laughs> Well, like I already told you, I don't have the boobs to offer. Would you like to test out a kiss? <laughs> Maybe a little one. I don't want hair slobber all over me. If he wants to get a kiss with the tongue, he'll definitely have to get some mouthwash or bulk cream to his mouth to wash away Kelly's tongue gems. 
maybe a little one. So yeah. the next time maybe you'll be fresh. Well, <laughs> I don't know where you are. So. That's a good idea. Oh, there you go. My date with Danielle was, was really great on a personal level. She's a very switched on girl and I'd love to see where it takes us. Bree was next to put his heart on the line with Danielle. So, so you're studying? Yes. And you're studying something that's quite smart, yeah? You're studying law? Uh, yeah, I'm studying law. That doesn't mean I'm smart. Though. Well, it does. It sort of does. No. So do you like t t uh, tall guys or short guys? Tall. Yeah? Yeah. And body type? What sort of body type do you have? Um, yours. <laughs> Nice. My date with Brie was really good. It went really well, and I definitely feel like there is chemistry between us. <laughs> nice oh, there's some hair you. for you. You got long, <laughs> whoa, girl. You got long hair too. <laughs> wow. Gemma had invited Brie for her first one-on-one -on -one date. If you had a type, mm -hmm. would you go for someone that's blonde or someone with dark, darker, like sharper, darker features, oh my God. or blonde? Um, what if? Well, what are you? I'd probably go, I'd probably go, I'd probably, oh, I don't, that's a really hard question because it really depends on no, their personality no, 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 as no. well. And you it can does. be straight up with me, Dan. Bruno, I, okay, I don't know. Blonde, I think, I would pick, probably pick blonde right now. If you, you'd usually go for a blonde girl. Yep. I'm hoping that when he sees me, if he sees me, that he'll still go back to the brunettes. <laughs> Well, you got abs, girl. I've got a big bum too. No, no. Actually, it's that's not that big. You, it's not. No, that's a really? that's a nice that's a nice ass. I always... Yeah, I, I definitely think that uh, that Gemma has a, a, a sizable booty, um, which is awesome. Yeah, she seems to be ticking most of the boxes at the moment. So. I feel hey. so small. Yeah, you are. You freaking are small. I'm not small. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Sure. He's the height that I like. <laughs> he has the kind of built that I like. And I think we're, it went well. You said that you've got voluptuous lips. So can I just have one peck on, just on the lips, just... Okay, go. All right, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Where's, where's your lips? Okay. Do I? Wow. <laughs> you do, you do. That's crazy. Do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up next, the guys and girls pair up for the compatibility dates. Percent. And they reveal more than their feelings. I oh, bought you a present. So. Oh, my God. <laughs>
After a successful first date, Dean joined Kelly again in the dark room. <laughs> By the way, I've got to be honest with you. What? Okay, so you've got a great neck. Oh, yes. You've got some great hair. Yes. Yes. You've got a great figure. Yes. You felt the bicep. Oh, yes. You felt the chest. Yes. There's one thing I haven't felt. Oh, my boobs. Well, that as well, yes. What else? The lips. I haven't felt the lips. Oh, of course, lips, yeah. Lips or chest. Oh, we have to do this. We have to do this. Oh, we can do them boob. both at the same time, maybe? Can we? That'd be great. <laughs> No, that's a bit retarded. That's good. And we've got the lips. All right, All right it's right, on. Ready? <laughs> Set. <laughs> When Dean was feeling my boobs and kissing at the same time, it was a little bit awkward. It was a little bit weird, but I still went. I still went with it. I'm a lightweight when it comes to drinking. Oh, you're but a lightweight. I'm a lightweight, but let okay, me see if I can. But I'm, I'm competitive. I'm competitive. So come on, you and me. It's a race. Let's see who can finish us first. What do you reckon? Okay. All right. Okay, let's go on three. Okay, one. One, two, two three. three. Bloody hell. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I did. That's crazy. Yeah, but yours had more in it. You reckon? Yeah. I would love to meet Dean for a final date, and I really hope that he does too, because we got on really well. OK, but... then you get lucky. Look, I'm, I'm wearing the butler outfit to, to the date with Gemma uh, because I just think she sounds like a bit of fun. So if she can enjoy that with me, then that's where our compatibility would come from. Wait, let's put our drinks down yeah. first. Shall we put them down? Actually, <laughs> I bought you a present. Ooh! What? Where? Where? I bought you a present, but you got to find it. So if you start oh, somewhere yeah. around here, <laughs> You gotta find where it is. Oh, go a bit lower, a bit lower. Mm -hmm. a bit lower. <laughs> see, see. Oh my god, you are. I think that Andrew would be really good looking, but I think that his job being a naked butler turns me a little bit off. Hey, hey don't be shy. No, see, so this is, they're the boobs. Oh, up. wow. And like that's that the bit. little waist. That is a very little waist. And then a big bum. A big, big bump. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite comfortable with Andrew touching me in those kind of places. He wasn't rude about it or anything, so it made it more relaxed and more enjoyable. <laughs> do you think we gel? Absolutely. Do you get along with me? Yeah. What do I do? I get a little kiss? On the, on the Are you going to pick me in the last day? I could do. I could do. Are you going to pick me or what? <laughs> I think we've had an amazing date here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a lot of touching and kissing. I definitely felt like she was initiating a lot. And I'm not sure whether it was because of what I was wearing or anything like that. But I mean, we did connect as well. So it felt quite nice to, to have that little bit of intimacy. Where am I going to give you a little sneak peek? <laughs> mm, you do have beautiful I've got lips. big lips. Oh my God. I've got big lips. Yeah. I feel like. I need to go on another date with Bree and Andrew to confirm what I really want. So hopefully Andrew does pick me because I most likely will choose Bree for my final date. For the last compatibility date, Danielle was reunited with Bree. Now I have to play truth or dare with you. I, oh, and okay. You can only play truth. I, I can only play truth. <laughs> Unless you can think of a cool dare. Okay. Have you ever had sex with more than one person at the same time? i.e. a threesome, foursome, fivesome. Be very honest. Um... You obviously have. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about... Tell me what about is this it? passing? Are we allowed to pass? No, well, you... Um, no, you don't get to pass now that I know the answer. OK, yeah, I have, yes. How many? Uh, it was just two. It was just a threesome. And what was the ratio um, of girls to girls? Oh, no, no, it was two girls. Two girls? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he's had a threesome with two other girls, I don't really know how I feel about that. It's a little bit slimy, but I guess when people are young and they do stuff like that, it's fun. Oh, do you prefer blondes or brunettes? Oh, my God. Answer it truthfully. Um, and answer it well. <laughs> answer it truthfully and answer it well. <laughs> Make the right decision. <laughs> um, OK, no, I, I like... So you can say don't, and you have to choose one or the other. You can't say, oh, well, I don't mind. 
For some reason, I just like blondes a little bit more at the moment. I see. I asked him about whether he preferred blondes or brunettes, and he said that he preferred blondes. So that was a good thing, and it's good as well because Gemma has dark hair. <laughs> OK. Coming up, the final dates get pulses racing. <laughs> and tense rising. Take it off if you want. So how were the compatibility dates? They're really good. Yeah. Do you think the experts got it right? Mm, we don't. Gemma and I think that they got them the wrong way. Just... We feel like we're more compatible with Andrew and Brie. OK. <laughs> well, girls, now the ball is finally in your court because it's time for your final dates. Whoever you decide to take, let's hope it's love, set, match. <laughs> I'll leave you to send your message. Thank you. All right, guys, let's do it. After getting to know each other in the compatibility dates, Kelly and Dean chose each other for their final dates. Our experts got it right for Andrew, who invited Gemma, and Bree invited Danielle. But both girls went back to their original choices. Danielle invited Andrew, and Gemma invited Bree. For their tennis-themed final date, Dean was first to score a love match with Kelly. Hello, darling. How are you? Hello. Pretty good. Let's have good a to hug. see you. Yeah, there we go. How are you? What are you wearing? Check it out. I have a feel. I told you long hair, right? Check it out. I don't feel that bad, boy. I'm quite glad that I'm out of the love war between Gemma and Danielle with the with the boys because they're not quite sure who they're choosing and they're having dates with each other. I'm just really glad that's just me and Dean. So I'm just gonna put this in your mouth. So that's all right. Yeah, go for it. Is that working? <laughs> that work? <laughs> Does it taste nice? It was all my chin. Oh, it was on your chin? You did it very well, I've got to be That's honest. Right. I did it very well. That's right. Does that feel good? <laughs> I feel... <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear it. Yeah. Well, I need a little cream. There we go. Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah, we're yeah, we're part. Part. <laughs> <laughs> We got on really well. We had a lot of fun. He made me laugh. That was a big thing. Oh. Oh. Is that a problem? I found it. I found it. <gasps> I love tennis. That was great. Here you One, two, two. three. Oh! It hit my arm! Ah, oh, it's a start, it's a start. Okay, one. Two. Let's... Yep. <laughs> I'm like a ninja. This is too hard. I got my ninja skills. Trying to hit a tennis ball in the dark room. This is not going to work. This last date was fun, and I wasn't expecting more romance. I wasn't expecting less romance. I was expecting to have fun. I had a great time. All right, darling. All right, all Take right. Care. One last pash. One last pash. All, all right. right, why not? All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm still a little bit undecided if I'm going to pick him. I really like him. I'm just not sure if he's going to fit into my lifestyle and could be a potential future boyfriend. All right, see ya. All right, see you, Carl. Okay, bye. Bye. Gemma returned to the dark room after Andrew invited her. <laughs> you said you were going to invite me for your final day. I... What happened? It's not that I didn't want to. Yeah? I'm just... I had a feeling that you would choose me. Not in a big-headed way, I promise you. I think that this date will make it or break it and make me realise who I really want to be with. You've been a great representation of what I came here looking for, was to see whether you'd get to meet those beautiful qualities in someone in the dark without mm. having to judge them from what they, what look, they like. look like. So. Yes. Andrew had told me that he was looking for someone like me when he came on this show, so that made me feel really, really good and special. Oh. Let's do oh, yeah. Don't fall over anything. Oh, oh, wait, now I can see how... Now you can see how short I really am. See, just... I'm getting I'm getting charged with uh, with the felony of major wood in the dark room, so I'm pretty embarrassed about that. But what can I say? She knows how to get it out of you. <laughs> the second date has made me realise I think I like him a lot more than what I thought of him in the first date. I'll see you later. Yes, you will.
After inviting Andrew, Danielle returned to the darkroom. I really wanted to catch up with you again because uh, I think we sort of had a lot of similar interests and whatnot. Mm. 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 That's why you chose Gemma. <laughs> The final date with Danielle was a little bit strange. Uh, after her inviting me down, I thought she would be really keen to get into it and, and get into some conversation. And I found a little bit tough to get the conversation going and, and get a little bit of a vibe happening in the room. Maybe laying down would be better. Shirt up. See, like. Get off if you <laughs> Oh, just get Andrew instigated the massage and it was just a little bit awkward because he's like, oh, you should take your top off. And I was like, well, no, I don't want to take my top off. So my top was half on and he was trying to get under it and it was just not good. Yeah. Your hand's pretty good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we both gave each other a little bit of a rub down with the massage oils. Uh, I think she, she complimented me on my massage skills, but she wasn't too confident in her own, that's for sure. Not even doing a good job. <laughs> I'm just smushing it in. That's <laughs> <laughs> pokey. Uh, mm. um, how long do you see yourself being a topless waiter for? Why is that a deal breaker? He seems like he has a good job during the week, so I don't know why he'd need to make a little bit more money on the weekends doing that. <laughs> oh, you're all oily. <laughs> yeah. I know, you, you are too, though. Smooch. All right, well, I'm coming then. Bree had invited Danielle and returned to the dark room for their final day together. Right, explain. Explain yourself, girl. Okay, so Gemma and I were talking and she was saying how she was going to pick you, so I'm like, well, that might be a sign that if I... Hopefully Bree picks me and stuff. And then it did work out well, but it was actually really good because I, I don't know, I didn't really enjoy my date with Andrew, so it made me a lot happier that I have no questions now. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys had such a shit date. Yeah. <laughs> So am I. <laughs> that final date with Andrew reiterated that it was Brie that I'm most compatible with. This is our third date. Yeah. Like, I mean, really. <laughs> I, I think that, I think that I would like to... Have a kiss. I think I'd like to know how you kiss. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I would love to kiss you if I can. I think you can. Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. You taste nice. You taste nice. Too. <laughs> you taste really you nice. You taste like peas. Yeah. That's all I get for <laughs> now. Wait and do it. I think me and Danielle definitely have a connection. Like we have a big sexual connection, um, and it was it was perfect. She's a really really good kisser, so it was nice. Right. Suck the shit, I got one more. <laughs> I <have two> more. <laughs> Damn, I lost. All right. Gemma and Bree were the last of the final dates. I'm hoping with this final date that I'll find out who I really want between Andrew and Bree, and hopefully I'll have stronger feelings for one of them instead of being so confused with the two of them. Thanks so much for inviting me on your last date. Oh, that's OK. That's always, like, that's... I sort of wanted to. I wanted to have both. But not enough. No, 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 no. Not no. enough. No, no, no. I wanted to have both, definitely both you and Danielle one more time. Bree told me he'd hope that I chose him for the final date. I don't believe it because I think he's really set on Danielle. And if he wanted to see me, he would have chose me for that final date. But what, what about um, what about your date with Andrew? <laughs> My date with Andrew. I think you guys hit it off quite a lot. I think you and Danielle really. Oh, you you like Danielle a lot because you guys were together, together. We were together. You, together. you guys <laughs> went on a date. You went. You chose her three times. So I'm pretty sure you're really into Danielle, which is why I'm a bit. I don't know. Is that is that why we're both a bit standoffish? Is that what I'm standoffish because I think that you like Danielle. Well, I'm, I'm a bit standoffish because I think that you like. I'm Andrew. pretty sure you like Danielle. Actually. I'm quite sure that you like Andrew. I don't know. I think the coast is clear for Andrew and Gemma, definitely. Yeah.
Coming up, the guys and girls choose who they want to see in the light reveal. I'm so nervous and I'm also nervous about what he's going to think about me. But was the spark brighter with the light off? Does that connection not matter to you? It's the final day in the house. Are you ready for judgment day? <laughs> and the guys and girls were asked to pick the one person they wanted to see revealed in the light. To Finn. Andrew and Gemma invited each other, as did Bree and Danielle. And first up were Dean and Kelly, who returned to the dark room for the final time. Seeing Dean in the light for the first time, I'm so nervous, and I'm also nervous about what he's going to think about me. I really hope he's good looking and I hope he meets my expectations. So I have absolutely no expectations for the light reveal and uh, whatever she looks like, she looks like. I mean, hopefully she's very attractive, but even if she isn't, she's a very attractive person. I love meeting her. confused now. Really? Like, what does he look like? Yeah, he he's not the type of guy that I would date. Does he look like a personal trainer? No. She's very nice. She's, she's very pretty. She's um, not the kind of girl I normally find attractive or go for, but maybe because I've sort of been in the dark room with her and sort of gotten to know her a bit better. Is he good enough for you to shag him, do you reckon? Are you sexually attracted to him or not? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm pretty nervous to see Danielle in the light. I think she's going to be a beautiful girl, but really I have no idea. And I don't know what she's going to think about me either, so she might not like the way I look. I really like Brie, but at the end of the day, looks are quite important to me. So if he looks completely different to what I'm expecting, I'm not 100% sure that I'll meet him on the balcony. That was Synopsis. amazing. Yeah? yeah? She's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, really? Yeah, she's, she's, she's definitely a girl that if I saw outside of here, yeah. um, I'd be going to talk to. So. Not that good. Oh, really? No. Totally wow. not my type at all. You guys had really good chemistry, though, on your dates. I could tell that Bree loved you. Does that connection not matter to you? He looks completely different to what I thought, and yeah, no, nah, it doesn't matter to me. I hope Gemma likes what she sees. She's already convinced that I'm a good-looking guy for some reason, but, you know, she might not like what the whole package has to deliver. I'm very nervous and anxious to see what he thinks of me. I know we have a strong connection, but I think looks matter a lot to both of us as well.
does he look like? I don't know. Was he hot? Just average. She's, uh, she's very sort of, uh, she, she's really beautiful. She does have that luscious lips and that big smile and beautiful hair and eyes. Um, and she is, you know, as, as she spoke about, her body is pretty much exactly what she spoke about. Yeah. She's yeah. a little bit, um, yeah. a little bit, uh, she doesn't like her body type or anything like that, so. Do you think you'll, uh, you'll go and see her? Uh, it's still undecided, hey. It's oh, undecided. Sure. Yep. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I still think he's got an awesome personality, but I don't, I don't know. This has shown me that looks matter to me more than what I thought. Mm. A lot more than what I thought. But I'm still yet, I don't know. Coming up, who will find love on the balcony and who will be left in the dark? I'm still a little bit confused. Now that the guys and girls have seen each other in the light, they have a big decision to make. Do looks matter more than personality? Will they walk out the front door or will they meet on the balcony? It's time to see who's found love in the dark. If I go out on the balcony and, and Danielle walks away from me, I think I'll definitely be a little bit shattered. Pride will definitely be hurt, but you know, we did have a strong connection in the dark, um, so hopefully she comes. Danielle's looks definitely match her personality. She's both personality-wise beautiful and, and her looks is beautiful as well. I still don't know whether I will meet Bree because he did have a great personality and we did get along well, but I'm not really attracted to him, so I have a lot to think about. Um, standing out there on the balcony, um, I was definitely nervous and uh, I kept on looking from the front door to the balcony door and then back to the front door, uh, hoping Danielle was going to come out. totally not my type. He looks a lot older than what I would usually go for. His skin looks a bit more aged as well, which makes him look even more older. And yeah, I totally would never go for someone who looks like Brie. Danielle said that she wasn't, uh, wasn't going to punk me, but uh, I think she uh, definitely got me in the end. I'm a little bit mortified that I kissed him. As far as going out to meet Gemma now, I'm not too sure. I'm a little bit in two minds. She is a beautiful girl. Whether that beauty matches what I'm looking for in a woman or not is yet to be revealed. At the moment, I'm pretty confused. I don't know whether to go on his personality or whether I should go on his looks. I don't want to be too superficial. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't regret if, if Gemma walked away, if she didn't come to meet me. Everyone's got to make their decision. If I go on the balcony and he rejects me, I'd be pretty surprised. quite shocked to see Gemma walking away right next to me, but hey, that's real life. This show has taught me that obviously looks do matter and we are both as superficial as each other. Kelly isn't typically the girl that I normally go for, but I had such a fun time on our last date that she might be the girl I go for today. I'm still a little bit confused on whether to meet Dean on the balcony or not. I'm not sure whether he'll fit into my life. I'm not sure whether he, he could be my boyfriend. I won't lie, if Kelly did walk away from me, I would be upset. I'd be understanding because everyone has different feelings on love and attraction, but I would be upset.
Hi. Hi. How are you? I think it's fantastic finding someone who I connect with, and he's just a great guy. I think it's fantastic. Oh, so good to see you. Oh, good to see you too. At first, I had concerns about Kelly's body shape, maybe, but in person, she's just gorgeous and bubbly, curvaceous, and just fantastic. Singles entry and exit videos and saucy unseen extras. Too hot for television. Make a date with Fox8.tv.